Immigration policies and trends have been a hot topic lately. In 2022, we saw a number of changes and developments that impacted not just undocumented immigrants, but new immigrants entering the country legally. Looking ahead to 2023, it seems to be shaping up to be an interesting, if not exciting, year. We have already seen several new developments and a flood of new immigrants from all over the world. So, let's take a look at the top immigration developments that occurred in 2022 and take a quick look ahead at what is likely to happen in 2023. 1. Haiti's Humanitarian Crisis Haiti's humanitarian crisis has worsened over the past year due to political upheaval, economic disarray, and multiple natural disasters. This has resulted in high inflation, widespread poverty, and increased gang-related violence. Tens of thousands of Haitian migrants have fled the country to seek asylum in the United States, making the dangerous journey to the southern U.S. border on foot or by boat. The Biden administration has deported over 14,700 Haitian migrants between January and October 2022. Reportedly, the administration is preparing for a potential surge in migration by boat, which could involve using temporary holding facilities at Guantanamo Bay. Number 2 Northern Triangle Exodus Continues over 541,000 migrants arrived at the southern U.S. border in 2022 from El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Despite the overall decrease in migration to the United States, migration from the Northern Triangle countries has rebounded to pre-pandemic levels due to low economic output and high homicide rates. Number 3 Border Crossings Reach Record Levels Apprehensions of migrants at the southern U.S. border reached a record high of over 2.3 million in 2022. Migrants from Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela accounted for 24% of all apprehensions. Biden has struggled to handle the influx of migrants, halting construction of the border wall, ending travel bans, and restarting green card processing. However, his comprehensive immigration reform bill has stalled, including Title 42, which allows for the immediate expulsion of migrants. Over 1 million expulsions were carried out under Title 42, and in November 2022, a federal judge ordered the Biden administration to end the policy. Number 4 Immigration Backlog Hits All-Time High the backlog of cases pending in U.S. immigration courts has reached almost 2 million cases, the highest in history. Due to staffing problems, an overwhelming amount of new court filings, and the COVID-19 pandemic, the backlog has persisted in its upward trend from the Obama and Trump administrations to the current Biden administration. Wait times for a hearing now average almost five years, including for migrants seeking asylum or other emergency humanitarian relief. The average caseload for immigration judges has grown, with some judges having as many as 5,000 pending cases on their dockets. Number 5 Remain in Mexico officially ends Did you hear about the Migrant Protection Protocols, or MPP, also known as the Remain in Mexico program? The Texas District Court made the Biden administration restart it, even though the Supreme Court had already ruled in June 2022 that the White House could end the policy. The program was created under Trump, and it involved sending asylum seekers caught at the southern U.S. border back to Mexico while their cases were processed in court. MPP faced widespread criticism from policymakers and migrant rights activists. Critics argued that it worsened human trafficking, forced migrants into dangerous and overcrowded shelters in Mexico, and violated U.S. and international laws against knowingly returning asylum seekers to unsafe conditions. Number 6. Child Migrant Apprehensions Increase Immigration authorities apprehended over 152,000 unaccompanied minors at or near the U.S.-Mexico border in 2022, an all-time high. Did you know that the majority of the children who were apprehended at the border were from Northern Triangle countries? It's heartbreaking to know that many of these children are risking their lives to come to the U.S. to reunite with their families or escape terrible situations like poverty, domestic abuse, and gang violence in their home countries. Some kids are even sent alone across the border to seek asylum protection. It's still a challenging situation for U.S. policymakers because the Trump administration got a lot of criticism for detaining children for extended periods. 
And now, Biden is also facing judgment for using border patrol facilities that don't have enough resources while struggling to expand temporary housing capacity. Number 7 TPS covers new countries. Biden announced first-time temporary protected status, TPS, designations for Afghanistan, Cameroon, Ethiopia, and Ukraine in response to conflicts in those countries. Migrants from TPS-designated countries can apply to reside legally in the United States for up to 18 months. During this time, they are eligible for employment and travel authorization and protected from deportation, though they are not granted permanent residency or citizenship. There are 16 countries with TPS designations, and around 355,000 people have been approved. In 2021 and 2022, new designations and extensions were made, which could make 176,540 more individuals eligible. About 63% of all TPS holders are from Latin American countries, specifically El Salvador, Honduras, and Venezuela. These countries face a severe humanitarian crisis, causing over 7 million people to flee as refugees. Number 8 Foreign Worker Visa Program Expands In response to labor shortages across the U.S., Biden increased some temporary foreign worker visa programs in 2022. This expansion includes adding 55,000 H-2B visas for seasonal, non-agricultural jobs, as well as expanding the number of countries eligible for these visas. A large portion of these visas were set aside for workers from Haiti and the Northern Triangle countries. The cap for H-2A visas, or short-term agricultural visas, was also expanded. Biden announced an additional 64,716 H-2B visas for 2023, almost double the existing annual cap. Critics say the program's low pay and lack of labor protections can lead to worker exploitation and the undercutting of American citizens' wages. Number 9 Refugee Admissions Failed to Hit Target In 2022, the U.S. welcomed fewer than 26,000 refugees, only 20% of the 125,000 spots reserved by the Biden administration. The majority of refugees came from the Democratic Republic of Congo, followed by Myanmar, Syria, Afghanistan, and Ukraine. The number of refugees resettled under the U.S. Refugee Admissions Program has decreased since 2016, and it got even lower under Biden. In 2021, there were only 11,411 admissions, a record low. Biden said he would maintain the 125,000 admissions cap for 2023, but experts say it will be hard to reach this goal due to slow processing times and the effects of COVID-19. 2022 was a wild ride in the world of immigration. The Biden administration faced major challenges, from the crisis in Haiti to an increasing number of child migrants at the border. But there were also some bright spots, like new visa programs for foreign workers and the introduction of temporary protected status for new countries. We're excited to see how these developments will shape the future of immigration and impact people worldwide. We'll make sure to keep you in the know about all the updates and exciting developments in the world of immigration. Thanks for watching. If you have an immigration problem you need help with, please contact Andres Meher Law by visiting andresmeherlaw.com or call the number below.